This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Well, we've always talked about Skull and Bones. Everybody's familiar with Bohemian Grove. Everybody's familiar with the Bilderberg meetings, all of the Trilateral Commission, all of these things. One thing that never gets discussed, which has been on my list for like two years, and I never get around to doing a video on it. I want to make sure there's a video out there on it so that people know is the island known as Deer Island, which is the island that the Skull and Bonesmen retreat to every year, which is pretty much, let's just be realistic, their island, where I'm sure tons of rituals, satanic rituals, occur. And I'll even show you video of one of the, or the house there that is supposed to be the retreat for the Bonesmen, the Skull and Bonesmen, that was filmed by somebody named Bob Marvin who drove by on a boat because there's actually not a lot of footage other than still shots from far away of the actual home. So take a look for yourself. They're out back. They're going out back and they're doing it again. Now you might say, what is this island for? Well, really, let's just call it what it is. It's an island of treason. Because that's what these people in secret societies are. They're a detriment to our society. They're a detriment to the Constitution. And they're the ones who are trying to destroy the rights that we all have. Now you can even see up on the window photos with the skull and bones on it. Okay, and I'm going to read you a little bit about this hideaway. But people should know about these places because this is them hiding in plain sight, right? This is them having their own island and having, ooh, these, these getaways where they, you know, they have these secret meetings where they dictate and discuss future events that are going to occur. And like I said, everybody's familiar with Bohemian Grove and the Bilderberg meetings and all these other things. But not many people are familiar with this island. And this is somewhere that they can retreat to at any time. Okay. Now they say that this is really just a summer retreat and a hideaway for Yale's skull and bones, the elite society that counts U.S. presidents amongst its members known as bonesmen. Yeah, they're bonesmen, all right? They're bonesmen in each other. And has been the subject of several Hollywood movies. The skull and bones was founded in 1832, blah, blah, blah. This is what I want to get into here. The Deer Island was one of the first islands in what has become known as the 1,000 Islands or the 1,000 Islands region to have been sold as a summer retreat. The island's southern shores face the U.S. shipping channel, which, while the northern side faces the Canadian channel near the international boundary of the St. Lawrence River. Today, it's owned by the Russell Trust Association, which oversees the Yale organization. Many people have talked about Russell Trust. I'll get into Russell Trust in a separate video. But just another one of these, you know, organizations these <laughs> that just have worth so much amounts of money that, you know, the, the people don't question, well, how do you become the head of the Russell Trust? And how do you become, you know, uh, somebody who has control and power in this world? Well, this is how. These secret society networks. Okay, they go on to talk about, of course, Howard Taft, George Bush Sr., George W. Bush, uh, Prescott Bush. And Prescott was among a group of Bozeman who dug up the grave of the Native American warrior Geronimo. I'm sure some of you have heard that story before. Other prominent Bonesmen include conservative columnists uh, William F. Buckley, Heinz Ketchup. I mean, you know what I mean? The guy who runs Heinz. Uh, Time Magazine publisher Henry Lucy, Percy Rockefeller, John Kerry. I mean, it's unbelievable. You know, it's just a, it must just be a who's who of talented people. Why are people so stupid? Why are people just like, oh, man, you know, all these guys got in a group together. It's not like they're a gang or something. And then they're the heads of, like, all of these major corporations in all these different, uh, you know, different channels, You, I should say, right, from from the industries, I guess is the proper word, industries, right? I've done the video covering Skull and Bones and their control on almost every industry, from railroad industry to, you know, their involvement, obviously, in the food industry to the chemical industry. Okay, and it's not just the you know the Duponts and the chemical industry, and it's not just 
even with the banking. It's not just the Rock, uh, the Rothschilds. Okay, these people are the heads of all of this stuff. So they have a secret society, which uh, the secret society's tranquil setting located on this private U.S. island uh, near Alexandria Bay and Rockport, Ontario, and a river stretch of ri- and a stretch of river known as Millionaire's Row. Of course, it's called Millionaire's Row. Look and look how almost impossible it is to get over here. Right? It's just an island sitting in the middle of nowhere. Right? I mean, you clearly can't fly in. Unbelievable. It says it isn't exactly secluded as tour boats rumble past it with frequency during the summer months. Rumors of skull and bones and rituals have long swirled around the island and osprey nests on one of the granite ruins of the south shore of the island, keeping territorial watch over passing boaters. Driving past in a boat ride off the shores of Rockaport on a beautiful summer's day, someone spotted a group of men enjoying coffee on the porch. Yeah, I'm sure that's all that occurs here at this bizarre... I mean, why would you need a getaway then like this on its own private island if there aren't rituals going on there? We've seen the video footage of the rituals that they've even shown. Now, I know people say, well, that's they deliberately leaked the videos, and that very well can be true. It's the same with the videos that... You know, from inside a Bohemian Grove. I mean, how do you get inside there? How do you leak the footage without being killed? They only let you leak this stuff if they want it leaked, because then it goes on the mainstream, right? It's then if you, I mean, they control the mainstream media. So, like the you know the footage that went on ABC, they obviously wanted it there for whatever reason. Whether it's them trying to normalize this stuff, which is really what's occurring, they're making all of this stuff normal. Like I've showed you with these TV shows that glorify Freemasonry. Like that show, The Lodge. How they're trying to make it seem like a fraternity. These movies that are, you know, about skull and bones. They have this new, this new show on Netflix, which I cover, The Order. Okay, this is just conditioning and repetition being used to normalize secret society, secret organizations, and to make people want to be a part of these things, right? Because eventually, they want all of the stuff that they believe in, which is already happening, which is you know more than just the do without will mindset, to be normal. And that's what's occurring. But nobody ever talks about Deer Island. Nobody ever says, oh, you know, because what are we, we're not allowed to do anything, right? We're not allowed to say anything. No one's allowed to know these types of things. But these are the places that these people meet in secret. And now I'm not saying to go do something. Of course not. Of course not. But I'm saying to be aware of this, because this should just be, instead of calling it Deer Island, just call it Treason Island. That's what it is. You know, these people are doing nothing but plotting the futures. I mean, if you look at the control and the power that the Skull and Bone Secret Society just in its own has over our over our, our, our entire country, and then you factor in, you know, all these other secret societies, like in the different countries, Oxford has theirs, okay? Harvard has theirs, Princeton has theirs, uh, what is the school? Stanford has theirs. All these Ivy League schools have these prominent secret societies. They groom these people who usually are, you know, obviously bloodline related. Sometimes they'll bring outsiders in if they see something in them or they befriend somebody and then they'll indoctrinate them with the same rituals that they were indoctrinated with, which really are just the basic core Freemason rituals. And then eventually, uh, you know, getting deeper into whatever, you know, coven or whatever other secret societies they want to venture into to perform these types of rituals and become full-fledged Luciferians, which is what they are, to continue to plot and control over us. These are where these, the things that you see going on, you know, being passed down, the orders that are being passed down of, you know, let's push this agenda, let's push feminism, let's do these events for gun control, let's do, um, you know, the trans agenda. Right? Let's do the race war, divide and conquer agenda. We'll have these police officers who are all Freemasons, you know, act in these events. I mean, this is all passed down from these secret societies. Yes, the orders always come from another higher up. We understand who the higher up elite bloodlines are. We understand the Vatican's power. We understand Bagelville's power. But you know, this is going on right in front of your face. This is going on right in your own country, right in your backyard. But everyone's too distracted to care. So Deer Island, also known as Treason Island, is just another one of these places that exists where these people are predicting, not predicting, excuse me, formulating the plot and the plan for your future. And which really is this the demise of society, the death of society, and taking away and stripping our constitution, which makes them treasonous. Because that's what this is about. Once they destroy the constitution, this turns into 1984. There's no free speech. There's no right to bear arms. There's no nothing. 
You just become some servants to these people. These people become your handlers, my handlers, everyone else's handlers. Right? It's absolutely disgraceful what we've allowed them to do and set up here. But you can thank our forefathers, you know, for the baby boomer generation who were so distracted with getting handed homes and, oh, you could work at the grocery store and be a homeowner back then. I mean, now it's like you can't even get a mortgage if you wanted to. Right? But everyone was, oh, everyone was getting rich and, oh, the economy was booming. And this was all just being set up right in front of our faces, a system of control and power. And now us who are alive now, whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, we're the ones who have to deal with this mess. And every day we see it get worse and worse. And you can thank these secret societies from Freemasonry on to these Ivy League groups, which I'm going to continue to expose more of these Ivy League school secret societies because people need to know about them. Just like, you know, if you didn't see my video on Colin Kaepernick, the NFL quarterback, just happens to be, a, you know, a part of this massive secret society, you know, which they are like, oh, but it's really just a frat. And then he comes out and does all this stuff to just spike up the race war and gets paid off and by George Soros and just connected the Soros Foundation. It's, a, it's just unbelievable what we've allowed them to do. Absolute treasoning. So, Deer Island, folks, if you're looking for a vacation, maybe drive by. Because you're only, I guess, allowed on the island if you're a skull and bonesman. I wonder who's paying taxes there. Are they paying taxes on the island? Who's paying it? Our tax money? Probably. What a joke. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.